Hi, this is Clyde Boom with iLearn Linux video tutorials. The letters ISO come from the International Organization for Standards. So, ISO stands for International Organization for Standards. The standards created by the ISO are named with the letters ISO, and then they have some numbers after these three letters. The ISO organization created ISO 9660, which defines the standard for the file system on a CD. In other words, the International Organization for Standards, or ISO for short, created ISO 9660, which defined a standard for the way files are put on a CD. Therefore, the files you download and burn onto a CD are also called ISO files, or ISOs for short. And the file names of these files typically end in .iso. When you go to a website to download a Linux ISO file, you'll see a list of files and the Linux distro files that you want to download all have file names ending in .iso. Whenever an ISO is burned onto a CD, on any CD burner, on any computer anywhere, the files on the CD should work in any CD drive on any computer system. Therefore, a CD that's been burned on a PC should be able to be viewed on a Mac and vice versa. And the same CD should be able to be viewed on any CD drive in any computer anywhere. Such is the benefit of having standards. So, learning how to use Linux isn't rocket science. It can be real easy. Come on over to ilearnlinux.com and start learning Linux today.